What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Blender is an amazing software for 3D animation, modeling, and VFX. And today we're gonna be talking about some of the best creators who are pushing Blender to its limits. We're gonna be showing some of the best works and the techniques behind these creations. I'm super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. Quick disclaimer, the creators on this list are in no way in order of importance, but the final three are the ones that I found to be the most inspiring. So make sure you guys stick around until the very end so you don't miss out on that one. First up on the list at number 10. Okay, this one blew my mind. It's from I'm Apollo Aid, and he shows us the use of ChatGPT4 in Blender. He uses this to create a very specific setup for a rigid body simulation, and I was just freaking mind blown to see that it worked so well and effortlessly. If you guys are curious how to use ChatGPT, GPT with Blender. We've covered this before in the past, so make sure you go ahead and check that description box for that video. But anyways, let's get on to the next one. Next we have at number nine. Okay, here we have the Sentry NPR robot render, which NPR in this case is not photorealistic because it has this awesome cartoon style effect on it. I love the way that this looks. At first I thought this was just a drawing, but then seeing this clay render, we can actually tell that this was made in 3D, which is freaking mind blowing. If you're curious how he got the those lines to look so good. He's using freestyle lines in Blender. And then that texture for this model was created using Substance Painter. And for the final render, he's using Tune Kit for Cycles, which is a paid add-on to get this awesome look. What's also pretty cool is that Anton Scarp on Reddit took this image, plugged it into an AI, and was able to create variations of this using Stable Diffusion, which also looked pretty impressive. It just shows me that AI in combination with great 3D work actually produced pretty interesting results. I love your work a lot. And and I hope to see more. Next up at number eight, here we have one from Gwano0708. And I know this looks like it is a 2D animation, but it's actually created in Blender and it's made in 3D. So this is just freaking mind blowing. This is a Ranma fan animation. I love how awesome this animation came out and how beautiful it looks. Anyways, love your work a lot and I hope to see more. Here we have at number seven, next up from Saxophone, we have this fire salamander, which was rendered entirely in cycles. The texturing on this is mind-blowingly good and the lighting and the use of high details in this animation is just so awesome. I love your work a lot. We featured you before for having some insane animal animations but this one just takes it to a whole nother level. Hope to see more of your work. All right on to the next one. Number six on the list. Here we have an awesome Endless Engines moon exploration rover escaping from a volcano and this was created by Skyliners A340. If you're curious how he got that amazing looking explosion in the background. He's actually using Ember Gen Beta to do all of the VDBs. And then he's also using Gaia for the mountains and landscapes. As a little bonus, he used the AI to upscale the textures that was used for this as well. So this looks really awesome. I love your work a lot, Skyliners, and I hope to see more. If you guys are enjoying the creators on this list, make sure that you hit that like button. It helps a tremendous amount to the channel, so thanks in advance. All right, let's get back to the list. All right, we're about halfway through the list at number five. Okay. This one is so awesome. It's from Sven Merden. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Anyways, this is a hand painted vegetation. It looks so detailed and beautiful. And if you're curious how he was able to create this, he's using ZBrush to sculpt all the high poly elements. And then he's using Blender to unwrap those, taking that into Substance Painter for texturing and then back into Blender for that final assembly of the plants. Now this render looks amazingly good. And that's because he's using Unreal Engine for the final rendering and presentation. What's also super awesome about Sven is that he has a full breakdown in an interview, which we're gonna leave in that description box. So make sure you go ahead and check it out. Love your work a lot and I hope to see more. Here we have at number four, this next one is from Trash CG, who creates this ship in a bottle animation. It looks so great and I love the way that this ship looks like it's moving with that water simulation, except this was actually hand animated. That's right, the ship there is moving based off of animation that he did by hand and then the simulation for the water is created using flip fluid. I love that you have this nice render and this final breakdown to show us. Love your work a lot and I hope to see more. This is where things are heating up at number three. Okay, this one is super sick. It's from Austin the Weird and he shows us this realistic car explosion in Blender. I love how you see this car just zooming by and then it blows up with all this awesome particles and deformations happening and it looks so great. The car is 
actually a 3D model from Turbo Squid, and the environment and underside of the car is a photo scan, which is probably why it looks so great. If you're curious about that explosion, Austin tried super hard to get this to be rendered in Blender, but couldn't really figure it out, so he went ahead and used stock footage for that explosion. If you guys are curious about getting more stock footage, we have some awesome resources, which we're gonna leave down in that description box as well. But other than that, the physics, the particle simulations, and the car deformations were all done in Blender. This looks super awesome, and I love your work a lot, Austin. I hope to see more. Next up at number two. Okay, here we have from the deep chaos, what looks to be a pretty normal scene until you take a closer look at that spaghetti. And we have this spaghetti monster come out and dance, which is freaking mind blowing how cool and funny this looks. So that awesome lighting and render and that simulation is actually a combination of different software. So he's using Vellum and Houdini to do the simulation for the spaghetti. And then he's using a mocap from Mixamo for that dancing animation. This took about 12 to 20 hours just to model and simulate those noodles. Everything else in this scene is real. So that plate is real, the counter, the whole environment is real. And then the rest of this is all just rendered in Blender. I love the way that this came out. Great VFX and compositing with this one and I hope to see more. And last but not least at number one, here we have from user Miller243, this amazing sequence that looks so gorgeous and it's actually rendered entirely in EV. So this is a snippet from a short film and it's a driving sequence. I love the great use of camera work, the lighting, and this highly detailed world that you have here. Hope to see more of your work and I can't wait to see when your short film comes out. So if you guys enjoy those creators, I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy some of these other creators that have been pushing Blender to its limits. They come up with so many awesome stuff. We're gonna be showing the different add-ons that they use, the different techniques, and just highlighting some of the best of the best from the community. So make sure you go ahead, check out that video. And if you guys are also curious about something else that we have on the channel, here's a video that YouTube's AI has recommended you. So maybe you wanna check that video out as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope to catch you in the next one. All right, peace.